guys we are here playing um a tgc tours 2022 world cup of design contest course and we're starting out with i believe last year's champion b101 ben uh if i can think hard enough i'll remember what course he made to win last year's contest somebody in chat will tell me though because i don't remember um and for this year for his defense He's gone with a Heathland style course. Strathlorn, of course it was. Strathlorn and um, Digital Bunnies, um, blah, 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 Sussex Downs went to the tiebreaker. That's right. So Ben's in chat right now, which is awesome. If I remember correctly, this is the kind of course that exists where Ben lives. And Heathland is a type of style that I think a lot of people who aren't from that area don't fully appreciate. So being North American myself, we don't have Heathland courses because there's no Heath over here. Um, and I just think that it's, it's kind of a underappreciated style of course. And so I'm hoping that Ben will work his magic here and make us understand why Heathland courses are so cool. Um... Would we call Wentworth Heathland? I'm not sure if we would. We might. Hey, Charlie, you're just in time, buddy. No? Okay. I didn't... I wondered. Right part of the world, but it's more Parklandy, is it? Okay. So... We probably don't see much of it on TV either, do we? Like Heathland courses, we probably don't see them played much. Okay, looks very cool out there. Now, of course, we must go check out the most important feature, which is the clubhouse, obviously. Um, it's five o'clock. So we're gonna get a late round in here, apparently. It's a very kind of old like cool looking old school clubhouse like this this is just looking posh as posh is it's posh as sorry and then we got the meth van out here by himself so this whole thing's a big front it's a big cover for what's actually going on on the in this property which is we're selling meth and we're just we've gone to great expense to make it look like we have a super exclusive golf course okay I can get on board with that. So this kind of planting here is, is a dead giveaway for Heathland. Uh, is that like Heather or Gorse? Or I always get those mixed up. Wharton Heath. Okay, that, that's... Uh, that, that name sounds familiar. All right, par five to kick things off. I could have looked at that beforehand. Bunkering looks really cool. A lot of people would have stuck a bunker here, but no, we went mound. I can handle that. Ah, it did squirt right on me a bit. Bounce. No! That's eh, not bad. Like in the drop off left, down onto fairway there. Um, I'm liking that it's a benign shot in that there's no real trouble around the green, but to get anywhere near a hole to make an eagle, you have to hit a hell of a shot. And so you've got these mounts here to kind of protect eagle. Kind of cool. It should also be noted that Ben got his course published before Heisenberg, which is probably the first time Heisenberg has not been the first published on a contest course. Oh, yeah.
this, I mean, this look here is just amazing. Ah, well, he usually publishes right away. It's it's not a criticism. It's just there's a first for everything, I guess. Maybe he's going to let it, the excitement build a bit. Yeah, the way that you've done the green here, again, there's there's a subtlety to it where it, it it's going to make the pins play differently in it. There's a lot of helping and hurting slopes. Like this slope here to this front pin, if I come up, sh if I hit it a bit long, it helps bring the ball back to the pin. But to a pin more in this area, it's a hurting slope. And a pin here, this is going to help hurt it going over here. But if there's a pin over here, it helps. It's cool. Yeah, that's a fair point. Of course, I'll give you that. And then here, we've hit a wedge. And now we have a, a pretty slope, slopey putt. Greens are 173. It's entirely reasonable. Okay, we got to put our thinking hat because a lot of a lot of courses I would just hammer a driver up here and not think twice. Not in a bend course. Not in a bend course. Although I'm going to end up doing that. Or wait, camber. Oh, I'm out thinking my I'm going to hit three wood. Did you have tempo on Charlie? I'm pretty sure that driver would have gone through the fairway up there. Is why I didn't hit it. You missed it without tempo? That's that takes some talent, dude. Oh no. Slow the damn sand wedge. That shouldn't be that close. And again, like little tiers, but not like massive ridges. So, you know, false front short, that's fine. It's just, there's a restraint, right? Again, he's going to let us hit shots. But on that hole there, subtlety, if you try to hit driver down here, you're in this crap, I imagine, just about every time. Like, I don't know if you're holding this fairway. So you can hit driver. I just don't think it's the best shot. And so for people who are designers out there, and I'm, yeah, I'm a Ben fanboy. Get over it. Um, but that subtlety to me is just really, really cool. Um, he's not forcing a shot on you. He's giving you the option to hit whatever shot you want. But if you really look at it, you might find that, uh, I don't know if hitting that shot's the best way to go here. It'll still be playable. It just might not be the best one. Yeah, that's a good point, Pat. Who isn't? So, I noticed the camber here, so I try to play out to the right a bit. And it's fine here. Yeah, these undulations are neat. So, we got fairly high lighting. I'm guessing because that's lot. there's lots of trees around here. Stay there. Oh no. Oh, we went, we flew too close to the sun there. But I can't really have too many complaints because we're talking what, four feet onto the green that that ridge started? And it's what, 10 feet away from the hole? And I'm left with a, you know, pretty simple chip back up the hill. 
from Fairway. Probably should have looked at that. There's a ridge next hole. Oh my god. An inbounds crazy ravine. Love it. <laughs> this is a drivable four. All right. If you bail over here, you're going to have a fun up and down because the whole green slopes this way. It's not the first drivable four. What was the first one? If you can get it here, it'll roll over here. You overcook it, you're up here, you're not going to have much fun. If you yank it, you're down in this crop, which isn't going to be much fun. We're into the wind. Mm. Yeah, didn't quite get it there. Being into the wind. All right, let's see if we can just land it right about there. A little bit of juice. It's so much more satisfying to play it that way. Oh, okay, that makes more sense, Charlie. <laughs> but what I like about this is it, it it's there's danger. It's not penalty hazard danger. But there's there's yeah, there there's there's so many ways you could play this hole. I mean you can hit it over here and maybe get up and down. You're just gonna have to hit a hell of a second shot to do it. Down in here, I don't think you're gonna have much choice or chance. But then yeah, you've given a bail because of this crap. You give a bail over here, but then it's not an obvious up and down, particularly when you gotta go over this mound. So I think one area where Ben is probably is definitely better than every new designer out there is the ability to think about, okay, what could happen? What kind of shot might the player end up hitting? And if they do, what shot are they going to have left? And does it make sense? And that hole there is a great example of it. And I didn't even look at the layup because, you know, channel rules and all that. I'm not gonna. Again, the view is really good. I need a fairway bounce that bounces hard. About like that. But, um, no tempo holes in one don't count, Charlie, just so you're aware. As Chris has rightly pointed out. Long par 3, super big green, some good undulation to it, but nothing crazy. You can dump it onto the middle of the green and two putt for par. Um, you can try and get close. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, this is a bit tricky. 480, and I'm not sure. Well, I'm pretty sure driver can be played. Not that. Yeah, of course it can. It's tricky though. I don't think I want to hit three with back here though. Although the green will accept that shot. Hmm. Maybe this does run through. Oh, uh, how way, Ben, lad? What's that? Does run through. Downwind, I guess. This is, I mean, great looking uphill second shot. 
Par I, par I should have known. Partial driver. Ben loves partial drivers. Hmm. Yeah. So we just end up in the light rough, which is fine. It's just, again, subtle things like that where instead of just making it crazy heavy rough and you're dead, it's, nah, you got a bit trickier shot, but you'll live. Oh. Is it though? I'm wondering if this will run through uh, run through this stuff. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And that was my other thought process, David. I was like, if I hit three, what I'm not getting there anyways. If I hit driver in the rough, I'm not getting there. May as well. Just hammer one. And of course, I put myself dead in between clubs here. You can get there with three wood? Hmm. Mm. I was always asking a lot of that club that I was I was fine with just being a bit short. Thought it might get a bit bigger kick. It's okay. Yeah, I got the Ukraine colors on Scoop. While while uh, Ukraine is occupied, I'll be wearing the, their colors. Hmm. We're invaded, whatever we want to say it. Until Russia gets the hell out of Ukraine, I'll be wearing Ukraine's colors. It's the best I could do with um, plus fours, David. They don't have a good blue for that. Oh, this looks cool, by the way. I don't understand why they don't have the option to just pick, okay, I want to wear these plus fours, and then, okay, what color do you want? You're restricted in what colors you can have. But the hat and the, the, hat and the shirt are at least right. The pants are a bit off. <laughs> okay, this is a three wood. That's a pin. Little subtle ridge in front of it, too. Hmm. Uh, completely agree, Fox. Like, just, okay, here's the style of clothes. 
clothing. And then you pick your color instead of having the same shirt five different times in different colors. Let me pick my color. Because I, my guy wears plus fours. Always. Like, that's just one of the deals. Oh, man. Yeah, this is nailed. You went to quote Bob? Oh. You'll figure it out, I think. Stop fasting it, you such and such so and so. Is this pet's not going to be a huge amount of fun? I saw what was going on up here. Yeah, um, a poor shot like that, you're, you're provided with a difficult putt to make. You should be able to get it, you know, par shouldn't be an issue here, but. It's going to be a difficult putt to knock in. Oh, hang on. I take it back. <laughs> I had to pay more attention to that putt. Which is fine. I hit a I hit a poor shot, but it was like it was that that shot, that putt was doable. I just didn't do it. There's a difference between par shouldn't be an issue because it should be playable, and I just hit a miserable putt. And par should, isn't going to be an issue because I physically can't hit the shot. Breakfast? Where are you, Fargo? Are you like way west or are you like in the future? Thank you for stopping by, by the way. Ah, you're in the future. Okay. Well, let us know how um, the future is, how March is. Not March here yet. Oh boy. One is going to have to think about this shot because if one does not get it quite right, one will end up down here somewhere. Oh, we're on the hanging lie as well. Come on. Come on. Oh, as if that wouldn't roll on. That's fun, though. Such cool ground game, and you have to pay attention to it, because... A lot of guys would end up down here. They would try to just knock it straight on the green, bounce left, see ya. Yeah, exactly. Luckily, we know how to chip. Awesome. March is off to a good start. We'd like to hear it. I mean, I'm just enjoying playing this because, I mean, all of the technical stuff is nailed, right? The look, the environment, all that stuff's nailed and knew that before I even played it because it's been. Um, I'm just enjoying the challenge of, of figuring out what he's trying to do to me here. Oh, and look at that wind just... Just the ball screaming left with that wind. Hmm. That was well judged.
There's some trickle out past the hole in these downhill putts. One must, one must pay attention to that. Yeah, this might be worth, this might be tour worthy. You know, maybe a bit on the edge. Hmm, let's play it out here maybe? It should at least carry that far. Oh no! Oh, I thought we made it. Thought we made it. Ah, oh. I'm over it. That was a tease, though. Oh, okay. We don't have the wind for that shot. Just stay right, ball. Oh, this might kick left bad. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, let's see, Charlie. I've got a ball above my feet with a right to left wind. This, this, this is going to be fun. A 20 to 90% lie. <laughs> yeah, we don't have that stuff over here. Doesn't look fun though. Can you get your club through it? Like, is there any concern about hurting yourself? You know, myth me being old and frail. Hmm. I'm going to hit... I'm going to... For Ben, I will hit a partial driver. I don't know if I even needed to. Norris Curry himself? Well, that's good. Climb the ridge, not quite. Again, broken record, I know. Oh, sorry, there's some kids in here. Um, skipping MP3 player, but love the subtlety there where that doesn't just get kicked back down 20, 30 feet short, it just stops. So I didn't quite get over the ridge, so I have not quite as good of a putt as I would have otherwise. Instead of you make it or you're 30, 40, 50 feet short. Oh yeah, me too, Viking. 
The vest was one that I had that you um, put in the, for the car, it had the adapter plugged into the disc man, and then it was a cassette adapter thing you put into the tape drive. Um, and then I had, what the hell did I have it on? There was a, it had like this little mount that had like shocks, like kind of, it kind of meant to cushion it so that the ball wouldn't, or sorry, so that the, it, it wouldn't just keep skipping a all the time, it kind of bounced a little bit. Because CDs skipped like champs if you weren't careful. Alright, we're going for this, even though, again, not sure it's the play. Let's see what trouble we can get ourselves in here. Into the wind. Oh, we're not even going to get there. Oh. Are we? Or are, are, are we? Over? Get up. Oh, it did. <laughs> so I've hit it 13 feet, and I don't think there's a chance I'm making this putt. Which is fine. Love this at the back. I'm going to have a lot of guys sailing down in this area. Yeah. Are both of the part... Are both of the drivable fours going in the same direction? I feel like they both were into the wind. They're opposite? I wonder if the wind turned around on me then. In which case, HB! Because I don't... It definitely wasn't helping me on the other one. Hmm. I don't remember. And then a strong par four to finish. Trying to keep it as far to the left here for the angle. Oh, the wings might be burning off. Nope, we're good. Right. Yeah, okay, that sounds right. Uh, this should be just a perfect wedge, shouldn't it? I was thinking how funny that would have been if that had gone in after I said this should be a perfect wedge, shouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, very cool there where challenge challenge the left side to get a really good look at the pin from over here yeah it's gonna be a bit tougher i've played enough bend courses to know that one so 61 with a bogey a 29 on the back with a bogey and two eagles <laughs> i know a eh, scoot hard to believe 7150 which is kind of irrelevant i mean it's 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 been is what it is and it's just everything is how it's supposed to be he's committed to a heathland environment he's nailed the heathland environment he's created holes that are a blast to play um He's giving you opportunities to take stuff on, and if you don't pull it off, you're in trouble, but you're not dead. He gives you the opportunity to play shots. There's some ground game out there. It's subtlety in the green sloping, which can catch you out because you don't notice it. So in a sense, I think sometimes the subtlety makes it harder because you don't you don't see it. It's not as obvious, and then you get to your putt, and you're like, oh, this isn't going to be fun. Um, or you blast it way past like I did that one hole. You just, you don't, you just don't, so you gotta, you gotta really pay attention with, guess what I'm saying? So I think in some ways having those slightly more subtle, I think it might make it more difficult, which is cool. Um, very, very cool. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great, great entrance to, or great entry to this contest. It's a great way to defend the title. Um, I'm curious to see what everybody else does, but it's a strong opener. That's for sure. Um, Ben, good luck on the, in the contest, dude. I'm looking forward to see how you do with it. Uh, we'll be back with another World, World Cup course, sorry, 
Another World Cup of Design course playthrough. Yikes. Um, for now, I'm going to say cheers. Thanks, all.